in the middle of a circus but the lights are all on you try to fake the smile but the curtain draws on you when the crowd begins to cheer it's a sign that the end is drawing near presenting the world when the lights go out The tears fade right before their very eyes But yours begin to shed Fake it for a while But the causing darkness dreads For behind each casting heart Is the image of a man who's torn apart Escaping the world When the lights go out Fear not, I have to sell it Stone froze for a friend with a message But the message failed to send Too many times I failed Cause the show's about to end Like an intermittent break Like a purgatory sending me to shake I walk off the stage And the lights go out Never believe me while smiling You would have stopped to intrigue while I'm frowning You would have helped just to shake it off But it bled me dry Maybe you're not supposed to know But would it kill to just remind yourself I'm gone I'm broken again As the lights go out Fear not, I have to sell it So every time I take my leave Oh darkness, please, oh just leave me be Holding on for life I can't let you know I'm alive Fear not, I have to send This little number ends, I'm gone And you can't cure my mind
reminder I'm a hopeless insider I will never die, I'm not allowed to resign The scars beneath the skin are starting to fade But my body lies, I'm still scarred inside The remnants of serenity is all that my calamity All will perish, don't be so fucking selfish The day that I will bargain is the devil's regard But you won't just Yeah.
In a time of tribulation, where the walls seem to have cracked and crumbled underneath you, what must you do for your kingdom when all you want to do is run and find help? You travel the darkened field and search for an answer. But you're not alone. You find another castle, crumbling, and another ruler seeking for help. Lost within the gaze of a doppelganger identity, you seek to help rebuild each other's castle. But what happens when both paths intertwine too emotionally? Something you already had and felt strong having throughout the future. Lost within the ideology of a brand new light. You infatuate yourself into this life, doing everything you can to keep it close to you, feeling like everything you had was dying and in desperate need of a bright new future. You find later down the line that what you seek was already there in front of you. But because of your infatuation with making somebody else's castle yours as well, you crumble the foundations of everything around you. Your henchmen, unsure of what to do, scatter across the field, becoming nothing more than a pack of wild boar, not sure that their prey is. Your counselors, giving you the very thing you needed to stay strong, but at the end of the day, did you really want to be proven wrong again? Your ideology of making things right set you on an egocentric adventure to try and rectify this yourself. But when you know your light has been jaded, do you really know where the right way is deep down? You meet at a crossing point, where everyone around you is trying to fix things about their ruler, creating a new empire for themselves, but can only find so much wrong with it when they realize they were the very thing that kept the castle going. They run an aid in a desperate persistence to get you back to your kingdom to rule again, but so much has happened. Eventually, two sides are now fighting over you. Which castle do you take? Which is right and which is wrong? A war begins to erupt. Every side is in a vicious circle pit, and you're the toy kicked around. Suddenly, you flee. You run to the farthest ends of the world to seek your own choices. Believing you had finally escaped, you found a magical lake. A spirit emerges. But it isn't scary, because that spirit is you. Trying to talk to yourself, trying to find the things that went wrong, the things that went right. Oh, how you yearn for your life to be back the way it used to be, where your kingdom stood tall, and in the event of your bricks crumbling, acted upon it as quickly as possible instead of running for an unpursuable dream. The realization, the epiphany, the very things around you already building back the past for themselves. You are given the most powerful sword you've ever seen. A magical weapon that when pushed into the ground and into the belly of the beast, turns everything back to the way it was. Your kingdoms are stronger again, but everything that you ever learned about the future stays with you. What does this mean to you, fellow traveler? It means don't take anything that fills you with peace for granted. If a dark shadow is emerging over this once peaceful land, cast it away with everything you've got. Try to fix it instead of destroy it. Don't let yourself get caught up in somebody else's life when you have your very own to live. When greeted to a new life, and when you're almost very fine, learn to negate it and stay true and loyal to your journey. No matter what shadow comes over you, and no matter what peace you find, never go through life regretting a single thing. Your book is your own, and if written the right way, can be the very thing that makes you interesting to read. Every warrior has their scars. But it takes action with those scars to rectify their entire existence. What can you do with your scars? Rebuild this castle that never dies.
Need you 